Hi everyone! This year's library orientation looks a little bit different, but I do want to make sure that we all know how the library works and how you can still use the library even while we're virtual or not actually coming up to the library as much. All right. So because of COVID, um, all checkout is going to be virtual this year, but you can still order books both from me at the at Lytton Library and also from Limitless Libraries. So to order items, you're going to go to limitlesslibraries.org, and there's a shortcut in Clever that I'm going to show you soon. Your login information is the same that it's always been. Your library card number is your student ID number, so that whole number. Um, and then your PIN is your birthday, but do not include the year. So it's just the month and day. So for example, I have a library card number there. They typically start with 1901 or 1902. And then an example of a PIN, if your birthday were April 19th, your PIN would be 0419. So to find Limitless Libraries, you can either type limitlesslibraries.org up in the search bar here. Uh, you can search for it on Google, or you can just go to Clever and this is the top of Clever. If you just scroll on down, you're going to see a link here for Limitless Libraries, and that's what I'm going to click right now. So from here, you'll go over to My Account, and this is where you'll type your 190 number. Mine looks a little different because I'm a teacher, um, and then your PIN is your birthday without the year. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so it should look something like this when you log in, so you're welcome to either browse you can select Lytton as a school catalog to search. If you want something faster, that's the best way. If you're in the building, I can get that to you within a day or two. Um, whereas if you're ordering from Limitless, it can take up to a week or longer. All right, so you can browse or you can search for what you're looking for. So I'm going to type, I'm gonna search for Class Act, which is a cool graphic novel. It's the sequel to New Kid, if you've read that. So this is where you need to pay attention here, okay? So you can choose format. So book is like a, a physical book that you would hold. Uh, we have ebook, so you would read that on your computer, phone, or if you have um, a tablet or other device. Um, there's also playaways um, that are an option. So make sure you're clicking what you want. Um, another thing to pay attention to is whether or not it says it's here or checked out. Okay, so if it's here and if it's at Lytton, then I can get that to you really quickly. If it's checked out, then you're getting in line. So you can see a little bit more information here. You can see they have three copies. There are 11 people on the wait list. So I'm gonna be waiting a little bit of time for that one, so that's okay. You can put a hold on as many things as you want. All right, so if I hit place hold, I found what I'm looking for. I wanna make sure that it says that I'm going to pick it up at Lytton Middle. And there's also this little box to look at here. So where it says, log me out after requesting the item. So if I just want this one thing and then I'm going to be done with Limitless, I'm going to leave that there and hit submit hold request. Um, if I want to keep looking, then I'm going to uncheck that box and hit submit hold request. So they give me some options of other books to look at. Um, but let's say I want to know like, hey, when it, where is my book? When is that coming? So if I can go to my account. It should look like this. Um, if you have any fines um, from old books from the library or from uh, Limitless, there may, you may see some red text up here, okay? But to look at my holds, so books or I'd, other items that I've already ordered, I'm going to scroll down here and click on Titles on Hold. And so this would show me, so Ready for Pickup means that it's here. You do need to be a little bit careful though if it's limitless. Sometimes it says it's here when they check it out to you at the public library. So it could not actually be here for a day or two. Uh, pending holds means that I have put it on hold and I'm waiting on it. And if I'm in line or in queue here, you can see I'm in position number two. So someone's already ahead of me. So I have to wait for them to read it and bring it back before I can get that. All right, if I did have any finds and messages, so if there was any red text up here, can look at fees and messages and it would tell you whether it was from a school or from limitless and if you have those items you just bring them back you don't actually have to ever pay the fee you just need to bring the item back if you know where it is you're allowed to have two books and one audio visual meaning a dvd or a playaway from Lytton library uh, from limitless you're allowed to order up to 100 books and 10 audio visual um, I would recommend, though, only ordering 
um, how much you can read in two or three weeks because that's how long you have before it says that your items are overdue. Something new this year is that each school library has ordered their own ebooks that are just for students at our school. So we're using a program called Mac and Via um, so that you can read ebooks. Again, you can read them on a tablet or on your school laptop or home laptop. And there's a shortcut in Clever that I'm going to show you. And just know your login is the same one that you use for Limitless. So I'm back on Clever, and this time instead of Limitless Libraries, I'm going to choose Mac and Via. And I'm going to choose Isaac Litton from this drop down menu. Ooh, I went a little too far. And again, you're using that same information that you would use for Limitless. So your user ID is going to be your student ID number, that 190 number, and your password is going to be your birthday without the year. So now that I'm logged in, I can kind of take a look around. I'm going to choose ebooks here. Um, and you can scroll down. It kind of starts off with some older things. Um, but I do have a lot of new books here that are available. So you can take a look around. Um, you can either check it out or you can open it now to kind of browse a little bit. So let's say this is the book that I'm interested in. I have the option to open now. Let me take a second to load. So I can go ahead and kind of take a look at this, do a little preview and see if it's something that I'm interested in. And if I decide I want to check it out, I would just come over here and hit check out. And then I can continue reading from there. So this is going to automatically be returned and you can see I, it looks like they gave me a full week for it. If I finish early or decide I don't want to read it, I can return it early also. Um, if you need more than a week to read it, you can also come back and just check it out again. So just a reminder, when you're ordering online, pay attention to whether it says it's here or on shelf. Um, it would be in green font. And if it says checked out, you're just getting in line for it, which means it's not going to be here immediately. Okay, and you can always check your holds on your account to see where your items are or what position in line you are. And for students who are in person, I'll be delivering books to homeroom teachers. So because of COVID, every time a student touches a book, it has to be quarantined for four days before I can put it back on the shelf. So that means that for returning library items, you're welcome to, if you have your teacher's permission, you can um, put library items in the book return, which is right at the front of the library, and you'll see a little lion below a little space in my desk where you can drop your book. And limitless items should go in the blue bin on the library counter that's labeled limitless returns. Um, if classroom teachers would like to collect items and let me know, I'd be happy to come and pick them up. Some students have asked if you're still allowed to actually visit the library. And my answer is yes, but. So because of COVID, we are doing things a little bit differently this year to try to keep everyone as safe as possible. So number one, unfortunately, the makerspace is closed this year and we are not having full class checkouts. However, Students can, our teachers can send up to two students at a time to work in the library. Um, I do ask that you please use my virtual hall pass, which I will be emailing out shortly, or send a note to make sure that we have a time to return. Uh, but when you're looking at that, my schedule is also a little differently this year. So if you look over to the right, you can see my teaching and lunch schedule. So I'm going to ask that you please don't visit the library at these times. If you do need um, help with your technology, I have a station set up where you can explain to me what the problem is with your computer and put a sticky note, and I will look at that as soon as possible. But it's not going to be available for checkout or for like small group work while I'm teaching. Um, you are allowed to come up two students at a time. Um, you can browse books on display, but you are unfortunately not allowed to touch them. I can help you with that. I can read the, the blurbs. I can read the little about the book section for you. Um, but again, if a student touches it, it has to be quarantined for four days because of the district policy. Um, and the library does close to students at 335 because I um, help out with dismissal and car rider duty. So while I have you here, I want to make sure that I can show you a few other things that you can do with your library account other than just order books or DVDs. So when you go to Limitless Libraries, normally we just log into my account to order library items, but there are a few other options here available for you. So number one is research tools. So if you're working on research for a class and you're having difficulty finding 
um, an article that works for you. You can scroll down here um, and we have a few um, like online databases that you're welcome to use. These are totally free and available to all students. Um, some of them are focused on specific aspects of science. Some of them are about languages. So if you're interested in learning another language, we do have a free option here. Um, there's an online encyclopedia as well. If you go to downloads, this is where you have the option. So you can see here we have streaming video. So you can stream TV shows or movies. There's more audiobook options, online magazines. You can stream music. Um, we also have comics. So the main one for music is going to be Boombox, and the main ones for streaming TV shows and movies are going to be Hoopla or Overdrive. So I'm going to take a look at one of these and show you how that works. So you can see here you can browse titles. So I'm going to click here. So this is showing me audiobooks if I'm just looking for movies or television shows, I can click there. Um, you can choose the rating. Um, I'm going to click here for children's titles only. So there's a wide range of options here, but this is really amazing. Totally free. Every student in Metro has access to this. So let's say you don't have Netflix or what you want isn't on Netflix. This could be a backup option for you to choose something else that you'd like to watch. And you can watch this on your school laptop. So I decided I wanted to watch Agent Fox, so I would hit borrow, and then I would sign in with my information. So if you haven't used this one before, you actually have to hit sign up, and you would use your school email here. So once I've given them my email and come up with my own password, I could either search for Nashville Public Library or click it here and hit next. So now is where I would enter that same information that I use for Limitless. So for students, it would again be your student ID number, that 190 number, and your PIN is your birthday without the year. But for teachers and staff who also have access to all of these wonderful things, um, you would enter your regular information. Um, and here's a few notes. You are only allowed to borrow up to 15 instant titles each month and you would watch all of those through Hoopla. So you would log into Limitless and then choose Hoopla. So I'm gonna hit borrow title. And then I'm good to start watching. If you need some help remember the, remem ooh, remembering these instructions, um, all of them can be found at ilmslibrary.com. Um, I'm also here, I know it's a weird year and things aren't normal. I'm here to help. I'm here for tech help. If you need a book recommendation, if you need help figuring out how to access any of the library resources, I would love to help. You can send me a message on Schoology, you can send me an email, you can stop me in the hallway. Um, I would love to help. Thank you.